Good morning, good day, good evening everyone, wherever you are. Welcome on the first video of implementation the AWS Landing Zone using the Control Tower Account Factory for the Terraform. We will split this video on the two parts. On this we will install the AFT and review what is in background of it. And on the second we will apply a new vendor account and check how we are able to customize it. So here is Kostya and let's begin. But before this, we need to check what we should have in the start. First, make sure that you have installed the Terraform on your local machine. It should be 0.50 version or more. Also, you should have installed the AWS CLI. The second what will be required is GitHub account. Of course, you can use some other version of control tool, like Bitbucket or Codecommit, but here all examples will be around the GitHub. And the third requirement is pre-installed the landing zone with control tower with the log and audit accounts. If you want me to show you how to do this from the scratch, just leave the comment to this video. But for now, let's make sure that we have installed all of this. Here you can see the fresh installed the landing zone via control tower, with the two default organization units, three accounts, and enabled SSO with the 20 default guard rails. And the first, what we need to do for the account factory for the Terraform, is to create the new separated organization unit from the control account. So let's create it. I will call my like the management one to highlight it somehow from the others. And we'll put on the root of you. Ok, it's created. And what we should do next? To create the new account for the controller. Because right now our OU is empty. As we are using the control tower, let's create the new account from the service catalog. Go on this service. Click on the product, select the product AWS Control Tower Account Factory and click on the Launch Product button. Call your Account Factory product, I will use here the controller name, like the name of account. Provide your email for this account. Call your future profile, again I will call my like controller, because we will use it only for the AFT. Select our just created management organization unit and put the details for the single sign-on. A mail, first name, and the last name. The next is manage tags. It's not mandatory, but in the future it will help you on audit when your system will grow. And create it. Now we need to wait a couple of minutes to make it alive. Good, it's available. Now if we will go on AWS Organization Service, on the Management OU, we will see our controller accounts, so we did everything right. Great, now time on GitHub. What you need to do first is fork to your account these four repositories. Link of them you can find on the description to this video. When you will have it, go to the last link and clone it on your local machine. There store the installation of AFT Terraform scripts. You don't need to have these scripts on your GitHub, because we will use them only once on the installation step. Like the others four, we will use all the time on creation and customization of account processes. And if you will open the main TF file, you will see that there all values are variables, means we don't need to change on the scripts nothing directly. One thing what we need, open the variables file terraform tfrs and fill it with your values. For example here, our management account id is our master account. Log and audit account ids we are also getting from the AWS organization, they were created by the control tower. And the AFT management account is account what we just created. On the GitHub section, specify your username where you forked the AFT repos. It will be used later for the code star. And on region sections, put your main AWS region used by AFT and backup one. Now let's apply it. Confirm your action 
and it can take around 20 minutes on implementation. So I will speed up this video and will back to you when it will finish. Great, we have installed the AFT elements on our AWS controller account. But actually the code start it will not work for now still. To fix it let's go to the controller account on the settings of developer tools. Click on the connections. And if you did everything right the Terraform will create for you the connection to your GitHub account. You need just to confirm it. Select it and click on update pending connection button. You will see the pop-up window with your connections and the section of GitHub apps is empty, so let's fix it. Click on install new app and you will be redirected on the GitHub page, where you need to grant the access to your repositories for this AWS account. You can select only 4 for the AFT, but for now I will just grant full access. Now we have it, so click on the connect. And when you will refresh the list, the connection will be on available status. So it means that CodeStar connection will work now. The last thing what we should do to have fully working AFT is grant the permission to the service catalog portfolio for just created by the Terraform AFT controller roles. Because when you will want to create the new account using the AFT, it will make the call to the service catalog on your master account, which will create the account for us using the control tower portfolio. For this we need to log in on our master account, which is owner of our control tower. Go on the service catalog page. Select the portfolio of Control Tower. And on the section Group, Roles and Users, click Add New One. Now on the Roles tab, find the AWS AFT Execution role. Select and Add Access. Awesome, we have it, and fully finished the installation part. Just before the closing this video, want to review with you what we have in result and how AFT is working in background. Did you see this picture provided by the HashiCorp? We have the start point, which is commit on version control system. On our case, it's GitHub. So when you will prepare and push the new Terraform file with new account there, the GitHub will run the GitHook action to trigger the code commit on AWS site for processing it. And in result, it will apply the Terraform script with new resource DynamoDB item. So for the next flow is responsible only the account factory Terraform. It's triggering the function from the DynamoDB and creating the request on the service catalog on creation of vended accounts and after applying the customization part. To understand it more clear, let's have a look what we have installed on our controller account. How to create the vended account I will show you later on the next video. But now I just want to briefly go those all these elements and show you how they communicate with each other. Imagine you're pushed to the GitHub the Terraform script with new account. If you did everything right, it automatically will be applied and you will find this record on the DynamoDB table AFT requests. This item will consist almost the same information what we provide to the service catalog when we do this manually. Now let's click on this table. You can review all the details of this table by your own, but now we are interested on the tab Export and Streams. Cause exactly here you can find the Lambda functions which will be triggered each time when updates comes to this table. First function is actual processing and implementation of new account. And the second just preparing the audit information about it, which is stored on separate DynamoDB table. If you will click on the processing Lambda, you will see that it's created the message on the SQS. So on SQS service you will find two queues, one for the account request records and the second for the dead letters, means for the unprocessed ones. And the next actions triggered by the step functions, they are controlling the mechanism of taking the information from the SQS, provision new account using the control tower and apply the customized scripts if we have them. All these processes are controlled by the AWS code pipeline. which currently right now on the failed status. It's because they are tried to be implemented before we did the code star connection. So the rerunning of these processes will be the start point of our next video. For now that's all, hope you enjoy it.
And don't forget to leave the comments to this video if I miss something or you want to review something more detailed. Also, I will appreciate if you will like this video and subscribe to this channel to motivate me find more interesting topics and discover them with you. So here was Kostya. Good luck!